Hi, I'm Serge from Trezor Support. One of Trezor's most powerful features is its ability to secure and manage a wide range of digital assets. With so many different types of crypto assets and third-party wallet apps available, it can sometimes feel overwhelming. Today, we'll break down what Trezor supports so you can confidently manage your crypto even beyond Trezor's native software, Trezor Suite. Let's get started. Coins are digital assets that operate on their own blockchain. They serve as a medium of exchange, a store of value, and a unit of account within their network. Examples include Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. Coins are essential for powering blockchain transactions, paying transaction fees, and rewarding network participants. They form the foundation of a blockchain's economy. Tokens, on the other hand, are digital assets created on an existing blockchain. Unlike coins, tokens do not have their own blockchain. They rely on an underlying network for security and transactions. Tokens allow projects to issue their own assets without creating a new blockchain. For example, a stable coin like USDT, which runs on the Ethereum blockchain, is a token. Each blockchain has its own token types. As you learn about crypto assets, you'll probably hear terms like ERC20, ERC721, SPL, and Token 2022. These are different token types. Trezor supports several major blockchain networks, such as Ethereum, BNB Smart Chain, and Solana, each of which host thousands of different tokens. This means you can manage a vast range of crypto assets directly in Trezor Suite, or through supported third-party wallets. Visit the supported coins page to see which coins, tokens, and networks are compatible with Trezor. With Trezor, you manage your assets in Trezor Suite, our all-in-one companion app for viewing balances, sending and receiving crypto, managing different blockchain accounts. In Trezor Suite, you'll first need to add any blockchain networks you want to use. You can do this by clicking the plus symbol on the left pane, choosing your desired networks from the list, and clicking Find My Accounts. Alternatively, if you're used to a more classic flow, you can head to the Settings area of Trezor Suite, then click on Coins, Select your desired networks and proceed. Now that you have your networks of choice enabled, let's have a chat about tokens. Tokens are listed under a dedicated token section within each blockchain account. This keeps them separate from the main coin balance because tokens run on top of existing networks. You won't need to enable them in SWIFT. For example, if you withdraw 1000 USDT from an exchange to your Ethereum address in Trezor Suite, you'll see the USDT listed under your Ethereum Accounts token section, separate from your main ETH balance. The same structure applies to other Ethereum and other EVM blockchains like Polygon and BNB Smart Chain and Solana. You'll see tokens listed under each specific network's account in Trezor Suite. We'll get into EVM compatible blockchains in the next section. Beyond Ethereum, Trezor supports several other Ethereum virtual machine EVM networks. EVMs follow a shared set of rules. These networks use the same underlying technology as Ethereum, but operate as independent blockchains, often with lower fees and or faster transactions. Unlike most blockchain networks, where each asset has a unique address, EVM networks share the same address. Your Trezor generated Ethereum address is your address for all EVM networks controlled by your Trezor device. This address will always start with the characters OX. The EVM compatible blockchains Trezor Suite supports at the time of recording are Ethereum, Polygon, Optimism, Arbitrum, Base, and BNB Smart Chain. Remember, even if your address is identical across these blockchains, each one is still a separate blockchain. That's why it's crucial to pick the correct network before sending or receiving any tokens. If you send tokens on the wrong network, you may not be able to access them, even if you send them to an address that you control on another network. How to check if your Trezor supports your coin or token. If you're unsure whether Trezor supports a specific coin or token, follow these steps. Visit the supported coins page to check if it's natively supported in Trezor Suite or if it requires a third-party wallet app. Some tokens, for example USDT, exist on multiple networks. Always confirm which version you have. Even if two networks share an address, like Ethereum and BNB Smart Chain, since they are EVM networks, they are separate blockchains. Sending assets to the wrong network can result in loss of funds. 
Pro tip, don't use an unsupported network just because it has lower fees. If the network isn't supported, your tokens will not appear in Trezor Suite. In fact, there's a pretty good chance you will lose access entirely. In the best case scenario, you'll need to do some very technical workarounds to access your funds again. In the worst case scenario, your funds will be gone forever. Always pay attention when making blockchain transactions and make sure you're sending assets over the right network to the right address. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Since anyone can create tokens and send them to you, you may occasionally see unknown tokens in your wallet. These are most likely scam tokens designed to trick you into interacting with a malicious smart contract. Do not interact with tokens you don't recognize. Trezor Suite will automatically hide suspicious tokens. Avoid manually revealing hidden tokens unless necessary. Never click on links or visit websites promoted by unknown tokens. Scammers often label tokens with messages like claim your free airdrop at. Ignore these tokens and always verify legitimacy through official project sources or reputable block explorers. This tactic has become common on Solana where low transaction fees make it easy to send scam transactions. Attackers often send tiny amounts worth just fractions of a cent along with links to a phishing website designed to steal your wallet backer. If you want to learn more about how scam tokens can potentially compromise your wallet, please read our knowledge base article about dusting attacks and airdrop scam tokens, linked in this video's description. A third-party wallet app is an application that lives on your phone, in your browser, as an extension, or as a standalone desktop application. You can connect your Trezor to it and use Trezor security to go beyond Trezor Suite's capabilities. When you use a third-party wallet, for example Ravi, with your Trezor, the wallet sends the transaction details to your Trezor for approval. Trezor devices only work with properly formatted messages, so you know your Trezor ensures the recipient address, amounts and fees are valid. Trezor's trusted display adds another layer of protection. Your Trezor shows you exactly what you're about to sign. If anything looks wrong, like an address or amount being changed by a scammer, You'll see it on your Trezor screen, and you can cancel the transaction. Remember, even when using a third-party wallet app, your private keys always remain secure on your Trezor device. To use your Trezor with a third-party wallet app, follow these steps. Connect your Trezor to your computer. Open your third-party wallet app of choice. Follow the on-screen prompts. Approve transactions on your Trezor device. Now, one important thing worth mentioning. Remember those pesky scam airdrop coins? Many third-party wallet apps do not filter out fake coins. So as we said before, if you don't recognize a token, don't interact with it. Using third-party wallet apps requires more responsibility. While Trezor Suite is designed to be simple and secure, advanced blockchain operations sometimes require greater control. And with that, comes increased responsibility. For more information about third-party wallet apps and a complete list of what Trezor supports, you can visit our Knowledge Base article, also linked in the description below. You may be wondering if it's possible to store NFTs using your Trezor device. Now that you know how to use a third-party wallet app, you already know how to manage NFTs using your Trezor device. While Trezor Suite does not currently support NFTs, you can still securely store NFTs on Trezor secured addresses for supported blockchains, such as Ethereum and other EVM compatible networks. To view or transfer NFTs, use a third-party wallet app that supports NFT functionality. Your private keys remain protected on your Trezor, ensuring every NFT transaction must be approved on the device. Beware of scam NFTs. Just like with tokens, scammers can send fraudulent NFTs designed to trick you into connecting to malicious websites. If you see an unknown NFT, do not interact with it. Research everything carefully or ignore it entirely to protect your assets. I know it's been a lot of information, so let's wrap this up with some final tips. Stay updated. Trezor regularly adds support for new coins, tokens, and networks. If you're curious about any assets, you can always check out our Supported Coins page to see if we support it, or if you need Trezor Suite or a third-party wallet. Be cautious with unknown tokens or NFTs. 
If you don't recognize it, research it first. When in doubt, avoid interacting with any assets you don't recognize. Sending assets to the wrong blockchain can result in lost funds. Be careful and make sure to double check transactions and go through the process slowly. Third party wallet apps are safe. Your Trezor holds your private keys. External wallets are just interfaces you can use to interact with various blockchains. However, they do give you an extra degree of control. So always be sure to know exactly what you are doing and what you are signing with your Trezor device. By understanding how Trezor manages coins, tokens, and NFTs, you can securely store and manage a vast amount of crypto assets. This can be a lot to take in, but don't worry, we've got you covered. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base for easy to follow guides, or reach out to Trezor support or Trezor expert for one-on-one -on -one help with managing your crypto assets using your Trezor device. Thanks for watching and stay safe out there.